Hey everyone, Kibi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing how to uh, flash the temporary stock um, ROM on your Epic 4G Touch. The reason you would want to do this is if you want to update your profile, update your PRL, do some sprint activation um, to get the GPS fix going or to um, hop into the dial codes. You can't do so on CM9, AOKP, etc. All those AOSP ROMs, so uh, the reason you would want to go back is if, as I said, if your GPS isn't working, if you want to update your profile or PRL, this would be how to do so, as you can't do so at the moment. Um, I'm running CM9 Alpha 4 on my Epic 4G Touch, in case you're wondering. I'm going to be using Mobile Odin. Uh, you can use the PC Odin if you'd like to. Um, if you don't want to pay for Mobile Odin, that is fine. So I'm going to be using Mobile Odin, though. So anytime I say use Mobile Odin, it means you can use the PC Odin as well. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So you're going to need to download a couple files and transfer them over to your device. So first of all, let's go ahead and mount our uh, phone to our PC. So plug it on in. And then go ahead and select turn on USB storage. So once you do that, we are ready to go. So go to your PC. All right, as you can see, the first link you'll need to click on in the link in the description, it'll take us to this tools. It'll say Clockwork Mod 5 for Epic 4G Touch. Um, the download will be right here. You'll see it uh, right there. It says download. It'll say E4, EG4T EL29 Direct Boot Clockwork Mod right there. What that's going to do is it's actually going to be a tar file. You're going to need to download it and then go ahead and just put it on the uh, internal storage of your device. So go ahead and download it and transfer it on over to your internal storage. You're also going to need to click on the next link in the description below. It will take you to the temporary stock um, file right here. So what we're going to need to download now is right here you'll see download. Click on this number one or two, both of them are mirrors, so go ahead and click on one or the other and download the file. It will be a, a file that will look like this actually. I'm going to go to my downloads folder. You'll see it'll look like this now that I've highlighted it. You're going to need an app uh, on your PC like 7-Zip. That is what I recommend. I can put a link to it in the description, so I recommend 7-Zip. So so we're going to right click on it and you'll see 7-Zip and then we're going to hit open archive. So once you open the archive, uh, you will see inside, it will open up 7-Zip of course, and inside you will see this uh, file right here, this tar file. What you're going to need to do is extract it out of here. So just click and drag it. I did it to my desktop. You can do it wherever, but I recommend doing, putting it to your desktop so you'll see I already have it there. So I'm not going to do it again, but once extracted out to your desktop, you'll see that you can double click on it. 7-Zip will open it back up and you will see that inside this tar file is this multi-boot folder. So inside this multi-boot folder we're going to need to actually transfer that over to our internal storage. So go ahead and as I said of course we should have our phone mounted. Um, I needed to remount my phone because I unplugged it for some reason. So let's go ahead and go to our internal storage. So F is my internal storage right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and transfer it on over. So inside that 7-zip, you'll see that multi-boot folder. So go ahead and just click and drag it over to your internal storage. So click and drag it over there, and on your internal storage, you should see, um, it looks like it's transferring on over, so it's probably going to take a bit of time. It's 700 megs, so it's actually going to take a while. My guess is at least a few minutes. So yeah, 3 minutes and 30 seconds remaining. So you're going to have to give it some time. Be patient with it. I'll be back once it's done transferring over. All right, so I just finished transferring over. You'll see I'm still in my removable disk and you'll see this multi-boot folder. You can double click on it and inside you'll see L29 and you'll see a bunch of files right here. But once you got that multi-boot folder on your internal storage, we are ready to go so you can go back to your device. All right, so as you can see, I'm back to my phone. You can turn off USB storage. I also want to make a note that the current ROM you're running, as I said, I'm running CM9 Alpha 4, that ROM zip needs to be on your phone, your internal storage or or the SD card. It needs to be there so because we're going to need to reflash it at the end of this. So make sure the current ROM you're running zip is uh, on your phone as well. So, of course, mine is. So we're ready to go. You can unplug it, of course. So now our first step would be to go into Mobile Odin or PC Odin, of course, and we're going to need to uh, flash that direct boot um, file, that the first file we downloaded, actually. So apparently we have an add-on. I'm going to download it. I haven't ran mobile loading yet on this ROM, so 
Let's go ahead and download this add-on. Okay, so here we go. Uh, if you're using your PC, it'll go in the PDA slot, uh, but otherwise you can select kernel, and we're gonna wanna go to internal SD card, of course, and then you're gonna wanna select that uh, E4GTEL29 direct boot clockwork mod file right there, that one we just put on our internal storage. So go ahead and select that, and you'll see it in the kernel slot or the PDA slot if you're using your PC. Of course, you need to be in download mode on your phone, press and hold the volume down, power button at the same time. Um, but then you can scroll down, and all you have to do is hit Flash Firmware. So go ahead and hit Flash Firmware, hit Continue. MD5 signatures have been detected, go ahead and hit Check. And it'll go ahead and flash the kernel. What it's going to do is actually, after it flashes it, it'll automatically reboot you into Clockwork Mod. Um, it'll take us into uh, Clockwork Mod 5, 5.0.2.7, I do believe. I do want to give a shout out to my friend Nubanel for this direct boot. So you'll see it does take us into Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 right here. So um, what you're going to first need to do is go volume up, volume down, volume up, volume down until it says back menu button enabled just so you can use the power button. All right, so we're ready to go. What you're going to need to do is go down to install zip from SD card and then hit choose zip from internal SD card because that is where we put the file, the multi-boot folder actually. So hit choose zip from internal SD card. Then go ahead and find that multi-boot folder and we're going to need to navigate down to it. As you can see, I'm getting there, multi-boot folder right there and we're going to need to select it. So, and then go ahead and hit EL29 and then hit boot EL29.zip and then hit yes, install. So it'll go ahead and and uh, boot into EL29. It'll actually reboot your phone automatically. And once it boots up, you should be back to stock EL29 actually. It should uh, put you back to completely stock for temporary though. Um, so it'll just be very temporary. I believe you. Um, what we're gonna need to do is reboot our phone. It'll automatically go back into clockwork mod um, after you reboot your phone. Then you can reflash your ROM zip through that clockwork mod such as CM9 like I said I was running. So you'll see you got your stock boot animation. It'll put us back to EL29. I'll be right back once it's done booting up. All right, so boot it back up. As you can see, I am in running pretty much completely stock gingerbread. Of course, this is not a way you can unroot your device as a reboot will take you into clockwork mod. So don't follow this method to unroot or anything. The reason uh, to do this is obviously to update your PRL and profile, go to settings, about phone, system updates. You can update PRL and profile. Um, of, of course, as you can see, you are on EL29, uh, 2.3.6. So uh, my number's not on my device, so I'm not going to be able to do it. So you'll see Gingerbread EL29 right there. But uh, of course, you can also do the GPS fix. What you can do is install the GPS status app. Um, it's found in the Play Store. Um, you can go outside and enable uh, GPS. Obviously, you turn on GPS, so go ahead and hit, turn GPS on. And then run the app. Run the GPS status app. Um, and then after you have a GPS fix, uh, GPS should work in CM9 just fine. You can also try and do that after that you can also go into the maps application get a gps lock and right after you get a gps lock what you can do is reboot the device uh, while it's locked actually and then it should work on cm9 as well so you can try both of those and it should work just fine of course you can do sprint activation you can do dial codes whatever dial code you want to do um, of course i think this is a dial code so it is so there's uh there's a dial code right there so of course you can do all the stuff you can do on stock it's just, obviously you couldn't do them on CM9, so I got a lot of requests to do this video, so there you have it there. But now, let's say you wanna get back to your CM9 ROM, AOKP ROM, whatever ROM you're running, AOSP-based ROM you're running. So what we're gonna need to do is, of course, let's say you're locked, you have a GPS lock. What you can do is press and hold the power button, and what we're gonna need to do is just hit power off. Let's go ahead and power off the phone. Uh, the reason being uh, because when you boot it back up, it should take us back into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So it's just a temporary boot of the stock ROM. And then once you boot it back up, it'll take us back into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So let it power on off, of course, waiting for these lights to shut off at the bottom. And then I should be able to boot it back up into Clockwork Mod. Uh, hopefully it works just fine, of course. So there you have it there. It turned off. So we can power it back on. So once we power it back on, it should reboot us back into Clockwork Mod Recovery, automatically of course, so you don't need to do it uh, manually. Let's double check and make sure it does so. 
It did. So there you have it. Back in the Clockwork Mod 5.0, 2.7. This is pretty awesome that you can do this now. So hit volume up, volume down, volume up, volume down until it says back menu button enabled. So now all we have to do is go down to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card or internal SD card, wherever you have your ROM zip. As I said, I need to find that CM9 Alpha 4 ROM zip which is right here, and I'll select it. So whatever ROM you were running before, you need to find that zip again and hit yes, install. So go ahead and install that current ROM zip that you were running before you did all this good stuff. And you'll see it says installing, etc., etc. So go ahead and install it. You can install the G apps afterwards if you'd like. I don't believe you need to. I can actually put an annotation if I find out find out if you need to or not. So yeah, I'll make an annotation if you need to or not. But uh, anyways, it'll be about it. I'll let it install and I'll be back to double check and show you guys that it worked just fine. All right, you'll see install from SD card complete. Go back, reboot system now. So let's go ahead and reboot our device. We should have the CM9 boot animation now, of course. Uh, let's double check and make sure we have have that going on which of course we will um, you'll see right here CM9 there you have it I'm gonna let it boot back up and I will be right back all right booted right up didn't take long actually and you'll see I'm connected to my Wi-Fi which means it's saved that you'll see mobile Odin's right there in the same spot uh, all your data is saved of course so it looks like you probably won't need to reflash your G apps so there you have it there that would be basically how to do all those good things go back to stock uh, temporary stock on your Epic 4D Touch, of course, it's temporary, so it's not how you unroot it. You're going to need to watch my how to unroot video if you want to unroot. But there you have it there. So you can update your profile PRL. You can activate your phone. You can have a GPS fix while on CM9, of course, to save all your data and such. This is, of course, a, a good workaround as we don't have uh, ice cream sandwich kernel source yet. So we don't have really a working clockwork mod, etc. to do all these good things. Of course, as they come, I'll be doing videos. So be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.